Alright, so after seeing a whole bunch of videos now on like the worst Steam libraries and stuff like that, I thought, I wonder what I could get. So I decided to put nothing in the search box here and quick search. And from there, I clicked on user reviews. Now, you'll get all the best games of Steam. The Witcher 3, Planetarian, Portal 2, Portal Bundle. That sounds cool actually. Um, but if I, you go to the last page, you get the worst games. Now, because I'm a cheapskate, I wanted to go for the cheap, for the um, for the free-to-play version of the worst game, and I found it. Gasp. So, I'm gonna let it speak for itself. Hello. Respond. Are you okay? Look. It seems communications are down on your end, but we can see you are receiving us just fine. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. It seems your capsule crash landed miles from the LZ. You need to meet up with the others before your O2 runs low. Your HUD should be live and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. This is weird. It seems to be showing five unknown signals. There must be a glitch in your visor. We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Your O2 tank wasn't built for long surface trips, so you only get one chance to choose. Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long, so you better hurry. Good luck, sir. We're all praying for you. And as you can see here, it says mostly negative, overwhelmingly negative. I have no idea how someone stuffs up that bad. So, 19% of the 1,268 user reviews for this game are positive. So, <laughs> again, how do you stuff up that bad? Just managed to waste 10 minutes of my precious life to play this crappy game walking to the right signal. Their, ca their screen came up and said simulation over, please pay $10 to see what happened. Not wasting my money. Went to every single on Mar uh, every signal on Mars and got 10 achievements for it and nothing else. Also, once you run out of oxygen, it just says ha percent dead and there's nothing else. Pro tip, press E to unlock Mars. Pro tip 2, download Cheat Engine and play the game at 100 times speed. Now, I have given this game a bit of a go. Um, I haven't gotten really far. I played it for like 5 minutes. But I'm going to play it again because I figure it'd be worth recording. Alright, so here it is. So the main menu actually doesn't look that bad. Now, this is full 1080p, this is not 720p. You can tell that by the icons here, how they look high definition, but this is not high definition. This is really fuzzy and it actually annoys me. Now, let's click on the credits. Now, that's an i7 loading this. And now, all of a sudden, it looks really bad because they didn't apply the same effects they did to the main menu. Like on the main menu it looked half decent because it was it looks like it's supposed to look like that, but over here it, it just looks so bad. And this isn't even a 1080p image. They should make that a 4K image at least, so that it'll, you know. And it should you know if anything you click on that it should come up as like a box or something that comes down. Controls. You can't change the controls at all. To move, right mouse button to zoom, space to jump, escape and pause, change states and pause menu. Wait. Okay, so maybe you can change the controls, so I was a bit wrong there. So let's do this. Now, you, apparently you press E. <laughs> you press E, and all of a sudden you don't need to get the DLC. Alright. That's interesting. I do like that game's attitude. Hello? Now, you're Respond. probably seeing my mouse Are here. Are you okay? Why Hello? Why didn't they lock it in the Respond. middle of the screen? Why? Look, it seems communications are down on your end, but we can see you are receiving right. us just fine. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. I'm gonna it go to seems that your scene. capsule class so landed miles from the LZ. You need to meet that up with the others before your OT runs low. Your up. HUD should be live yeah, and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. And this is how fast this you is weird. 
that seems to be showing five unknown signals. There must be a glitch in your visor. We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Your OG tank wasn't built for long term trips. By the way, you only get it's one impossible to avoid. Choose. Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long. So you better hurry. These Good things luck, quite sir. literally We're all you. It's you. ridiculous. Now I'm gonna speak this up like a hundred times like that guy said. Change the controls in the pause menu, and I just accidentally quit the game. Damn it! Gasp. Great. But like, why would you even leave that exploit in there where you press E and you get it straight up? Um, we're under the map. Are you kidding me? Hello? Respond. Are you okay? Hello? Respond. Look, is this the, the same thing? Communications are down on your end. Hmm. This is the same this is as weird. Moon level. It seems to be but showing five unknown but signals. But there must be a glitch in your visor. Exactly the same. We're unsure which is the right signal. Now just click down sir. the screen again. We're all playing because this mouse won't walk to the screen. <sighs> so you gotta click and there's a good chance you'll click out your screen if you got split screen set up or something. And it's just bloody annoying having your mouse float around everywhere anyway. The, okay, I can see why it's so negatively received. This is a joke. Alright, so I just wrote up a review for it, um, so I guess I'll just read it because honestly it's pretty much a script anyway. So I just recorded a video on this game, I can definitely understand why it's the worst received free to play game listed on Steam that's currently available. Overwhelmingly negative, how do you frig up this bad? Pros, and I crossed this out, felt great to uninstall, if, well I haven't actually uninstalled it and don't really intend on uninstalling it, simply so that I can say that I own it. The heads-up display was alright, assuming it wasn't an asset grab. The graphics were alright, not impressive, but 2005-esque graphics. Walking physics were kind of realistic. Main menu doesn't look too bad, and the voice acting was really good. She had a nice voice. I wanted to be as fair as I could to this game, but here's my cons. The meteorites falling from the sky and being hard to dodge felt more like Whack-A-Mole Simulator 2017, where you play the mole. The menu screen text was blurred. DLC for just the next level? That just felt like a cash grab. Background images for the menu screens were not even 1080p, let alone 4K like they should have been in 2017. Movement felt sluggish and there was no sprint option. How do you even pick up the multimeter at the closest tech point? It, it needs to tell you uh, when you pick it up. 
The game shouldn't throw you in the deep end and makes you run for 6 minutes to find the closest multimeter. The Mars DLC is broken and is about as unfinished as they come. The loading screen was underground, it felt exactly the same as the moon without the same textures, even the voice lines in the story was exactly the same. No, I didn't buy the Mars DLC. As someone else suggested, press E on Mars and it instantly unlocks. Developers should never leave internal features in like that. Uh, is a formatting error. Uh, oh well. The credit screen is disgusting. It has no filter, shows what appears to be an untextured helmet with a low resolution screenshot for a background, and it took an i7-4790 paired with a GDX950 about 2-3 to three seconds to load. A credit screen. Those were the most notable of the negatives, so there were a few more, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. Conclusion. While the ga concept for this game was great, having the idea of a player crashing on the moon needing to find their way to safety, it was very poorly executed. It was so poorly executed, the only reason I downloaded, recorded, and played this was purely because it was the worst available Steam game by user reviews. How does one stuff up this badly? To give some positivity amongst this, the voice acting was really nice, and I would like to see more of that voice acting. And provided that the assets weren't from a local asset store, were nicely decorated and showed the effort took place. This game should never have been released in such an early and buggy state, just like Windows 10 Scorch, but 10 times worse. Alright, so that's my review. Um, I mean, like, I understand that all game, like, even that would have taken effort, alright? I understand that. And, like, if I made a game like that, like, I've made projects in the past where it, I mean, I understand I spent, like, a month on them and stuff like that, but, like, I know where to, like, to create projects and stuff like that because I'm an app developer myself, but at least release it after, like, putting some things into it, you know, and making it functional. Like, the things I create, um, excluding when I was, like, 15, and I made a thing called Windows 98 Project. Oh uh, boy. Um, I mean, other than things like that, um, like I'll usually tend to release my games where they're at a functioning state. Now, I understand people might go, "Well, oh, it's early access." Um, is it early access? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. No, it's not even marked as early access. But let's just assume that. Even if, even if it was, alright? So, oh my gosh, my desk. Um, assuming that it even is early access and that, and it's beta and stuff, like, I understand that people would go, well, you do need feedback for your game, and I understand that, I really do. But, when you want feedback for a game, you need to make it functional, in my opinion. Now, I'm not a qualified game critic or anything like that. I don't even think game critics are qualified, but, you know, you just... You need to make it functional before you can ask for feedback. You need to make it where it's at a state where it's playable, but you can definitely still change things around and stuff like that. So you, it, it's playable, but you might only have like five or six levels or something like that, or even one or two levels, okay? And you just go, well, what should I do? How should I do the storyline? Should I do it like this? But you need to make it where it's playable and it's stable, because if it's not, then this happens. Um, I hope, now, I could just say, well, I wish this developer doesn't do anything ever again, but if he's watching this, which I kind of doubt, to be honest, but if he is watching this, I want him to know, or her, um, that just learn from this. We all learn from mistakes, and just do, just, well, follow the advice I said and what everyone else says that's actually, like, um, what do they call it? Cr constructive criticism, okay? Alright? Alright. I might do a few more of these videos though because it was actually quite fun. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah. Oh boy. I still don't get how someone can frig up that badly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good one. Peace.